I just got done building these wooden extension cord holders and I wanted to explain why I think they're better than the typical ones out there. So most of the time if you're going to build a wood extension cord holder you just take a piece of plywood, cut, cut a couple of U's in it and you just wrap the cord around it. You might have a handle on the side. There's two things wrong with that. One is you're making a pinch point with the cord because you're wrapping it around that tight radius. And two, when you want to get the extension cord off the holder, you have to unwrap the whole thing, wrap it uh, back off the holder. And with these, it solves two of those uh, problems. One is the tight radius. I put a, a, it's just a piece of plywood with a couple holes in it to hang it up and hold the cords off the back. And two by four that I cut an arc, and that will make sure that there's not a tight radius where it can wear the cord down when it's being held on there. And that's the real trick. I can swivel this MDF down and pull the whole extension cord off in one thing. I don't have to unwrap the whole thing. So again, it's on there, but I can get it off in one second by just pulling it right off the, the, the piece of wood in the front swivels out of the way and I can get the whole cord off instead of unwrapping the whole thing like you traditionally would on just a piece of plywood. So it's nothing revolutionary, but it's just a lot easier than having to go through wrapping it and you're not making uh, tight pinch points on the cord when you're wrapping it around a piece of plywood. So uh, again, it was free. It took about an hour to make four of these and the holes in here, um, I can put the ends of the extension cord through it and then I have two holes top and bottom. I can hang it up on my ceiling up and out of the way. So it's a nice little compact, convenient extension cord holder. Easy to make, easy to use. Um, you can swivel them out of the way, get the cords right off in two seconds, and it seems to work really well. So um, I'll put some dimensions up if you want to build them yourself, but really, whatever works for you, whatever size, anything you want to store up on the wall, they're flat on the back. Um, again, not like a traditional wrap where you have, you have to make a handle or something. These are nice and flat. You can store them on the wall, up and out of the way. So hope you like them. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.